Our city was, was faced with a lot of uh, challenges uh, in the police department dealing with uh, crime and, 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 and violence and, and gang activities and it had gotten uh, pretty serious. Report of a fight in front of Murph's Little Super, approximately 50 subjects. Shots fired rear of Long's south side. Sam 22, emergency traffic. We have a uh, large crowd running, possibly 1057s. Uh... And uh, as a result of that, we began to, as a united group of, of, of uh, churches, began to, to take uh, uh, groups into various areas within the city doing prayer walks and specifically addressing the issues and as we were walking in unity and so we did that uh, uh, on, a, on a monthly basis for, for a good while. We realized that some things were changing and been hearing through the grapevine that, uh, that changes were happening in a positive way. So I, I was prompted to just uh, invite the chief of police who was uh, I think perhaps a spiritual man but I don't know what his relationship with Christ was. So I invited him to my office, and the long story is that as we were sharing, I asked him to tell me about what, what, what's happening. Things were bad, you know, two years ago. Uh, are they different now? And he says, well, funny thing you asked that. He said, we've been wondering why in the areas that we've had the most problems have, have begun to decrease in the crime and the activities. We don't know why. We're thankful. But, and I said, so in the midst of him sharing that, uh, I said, would you like to know why? And he looked at me kind of in a baffled way, and he, well, how would you know, <laughs> kind of. And uh, I'm the chief of police, you're just a pastor, what do you know? <laughs> exactly. I said, well, what you don't realize is that because of these problems, we as the army of God began to do prayer walks, speaking life and hope and, and addressing the, the strongholds of demonic forces that have themes of evil in these areas. And we physically went on site uh, month after month into these areas that had been identified as problem areas. So for a good while, we have been doing that. And uh, you're te now telling me that there is a marketable, measurable difference. And I'm saying there is because we were praying and united as, as, as the body of believers in Jesus Christ. And he, he was kind of like, taken back by that. <clears throat> so I took him into my main sanctuary. We were in my office kind of uh, uh, behind stage. And I put on the big screen uh, one of uh, George Otis's uh, uh, cities that he featured in his first transformation video. 15 minute long documentary on what happened in Cali, Colombia, where the crime with drugs and, and murders were happening on a regular basis, had, had dramatically dropped and changed because the, the, the pastors and the people were gathering and praying. And, and so he, he observed that. So it's a very dramatic situation in, in the, at that point was the drug capital of the world. He watches that, then I take him back in my office. I said, so what I'm gonna ask you here is that we partner together. You have information. I, we believe in informed intercession. That as we see and know specifically what's going on, we can battle against that and proclaim God's truth and partner with you. Yes, you need to be, uh, do your police work, but the answer to our city is not continuing to police or arrest people, but we've got to change the whole environment. So let's partner together, the community of faith and law enforcement. <clears throat> he had never heard that before. He said, well, I don't know how I could do that. I said, well, you could do whatever you want. Aren't you the chief of police? He goes, well, yeah, but I've got other issues. I said, no, you're the chief. So you can lead, and I'm, I'm, I happen to be a chief, so to speak, in this movement as I've been asked to be a part of providing some leadership and, and direction for this, this prayer movement and unity movement. So let's partner together. Now, I'm emphasizing this because we don't have to think that we always have to partner with Christians, but as that we're together responsible for a community. And so we have to show value to that community and those that are in various spheres of, of influence, such as law enforcement, medicine, or whatever it might be. So sometimes we as, as Christian leaders somehow think it all has, has to happen within the confines of our, our local church building or our association with somebody else would not be a good thing. How are they gonna come to Christ unless we interface with them? To make a long story short, he said, well, I, I can't kind of, I don't have the time and I can't connect with you to giving that information. I, I said, well, could you assign somebody? He thought for a few minutes, he says, okay. 
So he assigned a high, high level officer uh, that was in special forces of some nature to, to work with me. And sure enough, we began a, a, a behind the scenes, non-publicized partnership where they would feed us information which would give us a sense of direction of how, what to pray into and what kind of uh, movement in living out the gospel could walk in the opposite spirit and see continued change with that. So for me, I was wanting to be a testimony to a, a, a person who needed to know Christ or certainly see the power of God moving and that to see the value and the relevance of the church that's not just staying in its walls, complaining about or, or, or huddled down, praying as if they're going to make a difference. Yeah, we can make a difference, but we've got to get in the streets. We've got to get out of our fortresses, in, out of our safety zones, and, and engage in listening to what the community needs. So we, we listened, we responded, and there was change in, in, in the community. Uh, measurable change that was a testimony from the chief of police. We already kind of had heard because we had police officers that were Christians and informing us that there was something was shifting. But as a result, uh, we, we saw a change.